Good evening, folks. It is the 31st of October. We are doing our standard walk around the uh, charts, the four-hour time frame for all of our charts this evening. And so this is the S&P 500. We've got price sitting on uh, support at the lower median line of a uh, shift pitchfork, that's the blue dashed lines we see here. Uh, support below, uh, we've got the horizontal level and then a, um, a median line of this uh, downtrending, the, the red uh, Andrews shift fork. MACD obviously is in bear mode on a sell signal, not looking pretty. Um, stochastics, price energy is low. Um, <laughs> I'd expect lower prices uh, based on that chart. I'd expect lower prices this week unless something, you know, some positive catalyst occurs. And so now we're looking at the Dow. And um, so we've got price has, looks like it has found support in this uh, it's the um, con congruence of, of the two median lines we have the downtrending red pitchfork and the upper uh, the upward trending blue pitchfork and so price is sitting down here uh, finding support looks like it's finding support um, in that uh, intersection of those two median lines. And let's see, uh, stochastics, uh, price energy obviously is low, um, MACD, um, bear mode obviously on a sell signal, uh, quite oversold Obviously, it was more oversold um, back there in, was that the big scary plunge, March? Yeah, big scary plunge when all the markets got sold off. Um, but still, um, very o oversold based on MACD, uh, hinting that maybe this downtrend is coming to an end. Maybe we'll get a relief rally from here. Of course, we've got this overhead resistance now from the horizontal uh, pink level from that prior low. Um, NASDAQ is the least pretty of the equity markets. Uh, we can see the NASDAQ is just uh, any number of levels that could have acted as support have failed price continuing lower and um, at this point the next the next real support level we have is down here um, this is 10660 or so uh, not a pretty chart at all um, MACD obviously is in bear mode on sell signal Price energy very low. Uh, no reason to think that price isn't going to come down here and test this uh, prior double bottom level 10,660 or so. Let's just, uh, curiosity, we'll throw in this next 10,660. Yeah, and so um, if it if it takes us a little bit to get there, you'll see that we have this uh, confluence of what would be a horizontal support level and then this uh, lower, lower median line extension from the blue Andrews pitchfork uh, in that 10,660 level. Um, okay, this is the US dollar and so obviously this, um, let me back up a little bit, sorry for jumping around so much. Uh, so the uh, red shift 
pitchfork obviously is acting as uh, support or um, excuse me the resistance on this big price move in the last week um, last week's newsletter uh, Sunday and Monday morning we were looking at the US dollar uh, was testing this resistance level the pink horizontal line from below and then obviously now uh, we've had a lot of movement this week um, the dollars up here testing this resistance level and obviously it's it's acting that fork is still acting um, is still having a, an influence on price if price can or if the US dollar can break through that resistance level then we we've got another resistance level right overhead from the blue Andrews pitchfork and so it'd be interesting to see what happens there let's keep moving on uh, gold um, gold acts like it's it's bottoming and of course you know it's been a, in a downtrend for for um, several trading sessions now uh, price energy is rising based on st stochastics we just got a new buy signal in the MACD uh, MACD is uh, well oversold and so wouldn't be a bad place to um, rally gold could rally from here but we have to keep in mind that uh, in the bigger picture the US dollar is oversold and so uh, if the dollar decides to rally um, gold may may head lower and uh, test the 1850 1860 support level down here um, <clears throat> You see that we have this prior uh, double bottom right right at uh, 18 we'll call that 1850 and so that should be a decent level of support and uh, then the blue the dashed line there that's about 1860 in the next week or so um, we might get some support there so uh, let's see silver right now is just hugging to that uh, that's the lower median line extension of that um, what do we got that's a uh, shift pitchfork um, uh, pretty well oversold in MACD and we just got a, a new um, buy signal MACD buy signal on Friday uh, price energy is being elevated at this point and uh, heading sharply higher so um, could get a rally from here that's a nice uh, that's a bullish candle there um, not a gravestone doji um, the dragonfly dragonfly doji almost anyway that's a uh, the long lower tail on that doji candlestick is bullish suggests that uh, you know sellers came in here this price bar opened way up here sellers pushed price way down to this level and then buyers came back in and uh, were able to close this particular price bar way up here and so that's very bullish action um, let's let's draw let, let's draw that um, support level right there just to show um, that could be a solid uh, support level there so uh, and also I want to caveat the US dollar could rally and affect that so these are the mining stocks based on uh, GDXJ uh, 
pushing up against resistance at the median line of this uh, red uh, modified chip pitchfork. Uh, price energy is very low. MAC, uh, MACD is in bear mode on a sell signal, hinting at a uh, bullish move, but um, I. <laughs> Until we see price break above that resistance level on the median line, um, I keep my powder dry. This is Brent crude. Uh, you know, MACD is very oversold and hinting that we're uh, right about to get to a uh, new buy signal, um, MACD buy signal. Stochastics energy is low, but uh, suggesting that it wants to head higher. Uh, this has been a big move, impulsive move downwards. And uh, for that matter, let's throw EEE bid retracement on this movement. Um, and so what I would suggest here is that uh, we've got MACD very oversold. We've got this bullish um, bottoming action, that long tail on that particular price bar, um, and then just in general this, this series of price bars is uh, suggesting bottoming action. Uh, stochastics energy is uh, rising. MACD histogram hinting at a new buy signal. Anyway, um, wouldn't be surprising to see a relief rally. I'm not suggesting that uh, price is going to turn around at this point, but uh, a relief rally back up to. <coughs> Uh, 3850 or so uh, wouldn't be surprising at this point. So let's move on. Been a lot of movement in this uh, the 10 year yield, and we're back up at a resistance level, potential double top here. Um, MACD is still uh, uh, bull mode, buy signal, new buy signal, uh, but very overbought. Uh, again, potential over uh, double top. We're at our resistance level with this uh, blue modified shift pitchfork. Price, uh, yeah, price energy very uh, elevated, still rising. Um, and that's the walk around the charts. And I'm going to end it now. Let's uh, enjoy the rest of our weekends.